the way to Prince Edward County. Me and my boyfriend rented an Airbnb. It's actually on like a lavender farm, I think. So hopefully it'll be cute, but we're just gonna spend a night here because we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary of us dating. So we just wanted to do a little overnight trip. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us and the weather's not the greatest today, but we are going to make the best of it. So we're just on the way, we're almost there. Say hi, babe. quaint little room at this bed and breakfast there's like a little I don't know if you can see from the window but there's like a little lavender farm it's really cute they sell like their own lavender products here so it's very quaint it's very cute we're just gonna freshen up and probably go and grab something light for lunch and maybe go to like a winery do a little tasting or something and then I'll take you around of course so this is part of the little lavender house and look what's here, a cute owl. It's a very beautiful little old Victorian house. I believe this is where we will be having breakfast tomorrow in the morning. <laughs> Attic is playing the piano. Do you know how to play? No. I used to play, I, I took piano lessons. You're, you're wondering how to play piano? <laughs> I'll show you guys the outside, it's so pretty. how quaint it is. It's actually, the sun was peeking out. And they sell their lavender here. And it smells so good. So we came to this winery that was like 10 minutes away. It's called Terra Cello, and it is really pretty. And apparently they have good pizza here. So we're going to try it out. And you guys can see how cute it looks. Look, they have all the little Italian wine, wine bottles there. They have a little bocce place. How adorable is that? So since it is a Friday, it is not that busy. I feel like a lot of people are still working. <laughs> we took the day off today, so it's very mellow today. But tomorrow when we leave, unfortunately, it's probably going to be much busier. But I actually don't mind this like little private area to ourselves. That's so cute, Nono's Press, 1940s. We just ordered a couple pizzas here. I got a glass of red wine. It's one of their classic Bocanera wines. So that means like stained mouth, a dark stained mouth. Stained mouth. <laughs> These are the pizzas. I got the Bereze one with sausage and red peppers and onions. And Attic got the Calabres with olives and spicy salami. We got everybody in here? Or no? <laughs> Just you. You're the owner. <laughs> 
So he is from yeah. Fudja. We just Hi, ate guys. at his delicious winery in Prince Edward County. I'm Antonio Cello the, the third, and my son is the fourth. This is our wow. beautiful winery in Prince Edward County. And I am from Manzano di Puglia, that's where the family from, which is the province of Foggia. And Amazing. here we're doing all Italian style wines and we do traditional Neapolitan pizza. And we got Amazing. the courtyard. We and love so it. hopefully come out and visit us, right? This summer. Yes. Post COVID. Thank you. Exactly. Let's have some fun and delicious pizzas yeah, and thank you. it's nice to meet someone. A paisano. Paisano! <laughs> Forza! Thank you so much. Ciao. Bye. As you guys saw from my last little slide there, I realized that he was from Foggia, which is actually where my dad's side is from in Italy. So it's such a small world because all the way in Prince Edward County, I meet someone from Foggia. I don't really ever meet a lot of people from there. So it was really cool. And as you saw, very sweet guy, a really nice place, really good pizzas. And it's a definite must if you're in PEC. So thank you again. So we came to this cute little ice cream shop in Wellington. It is called old greenhouse ice cream shop. Guys, we did not think that these were gonna be so big, but now we're gonna take a little walk. We're in Wellington. We are at Sandbanks Winery. This is in Wellington. We're doing a little wine tasting here at the Sandbanks Winery. It's really nice. I think it's only like $10 and you can try five different wines. So we're starting with their house white wine. Delish. So this is the tasting menu. We tried this one, this Chardonnay, and now I tried this summer apple wine, which is really good. It's delicious. So I got the Cabernet Franc, and Attic got the Pinot Noir. <laughs> so we just finished up at the Sandbanks Winery. It was really, really nice, as you guys saw. We had a wine tasting of five wines, and that was really nice, because as you guys saw, they gave you like a list of wines to choose from. They recommended you start with whites and then go on to the reds. So we had two whites each and then three reds. We actually even got one to take home, which was, I forget the name of it. What was it, Bacco Baco Noir? It was really nice. <laughs> Whenever I drink red wine, my tongue and teeth turn purple, so. You can tell I've been drinking some wine, and that was really nice. It was $10 for a wine tasting of five wines, which I think is a really good deal. And there was even a really fun bachelorette party. I think they were from Quebec, and they were really funny. I was taking pictures, and we were just talking a little bit, so <laughs> it was funny. A lot of um, bachelorettes, like bachelor parties and bachelorettes, go to these wine tastings, so it was really nice. And so now we're walking by like their little beach walk here in Wellington. It's very loud, so you guys can probably hear it in the background, but it's a very foggy day. It was supposed to rain all day. I'm so happy that it didn't. So I don't mind a little bit of fog by the water, so I'll just show you guys. I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can see the fog. Normally this would be a beautiful like lake beach vista here, but. This is actually a really cool shot. It looks like a, a music video. <laughs> so we're just killing some time before we go back to our Airbnb. And I'm gonna freshen up, I'm gonna change, and then we're going to dinner. So it's gonna be a nice dinner at a place. I forget the exact name. I think it's like Flame and Smith or something. But I will, obviously you guys will see it. And it's gonna be a nice little dinner. And I will be back with you guys to chat later. We're back at our Airbnb and how cute is this? It's find a fossil. It says, in our fields, we can find many fossils from the Ordovician geological period. So this was between 350 to 450 million years ago. Babe, which one was the fossil? No way here. So there's one. 
Wow, and so as I said, this is on a lavender farm. Oh, there's a little rain shower. Let's see it. This is the lavender field and you can smell it. It smells so good. How pretty is that? So our Airbnb is right on this lavender farm. I also wanted to show you guys, since we are on a lavender farm, they actually have a shop downstairs, as I mentioned. And it's so cute because they leave little lavender shower gels and body lotions in the bathroom for us. It's such a nice added touch. And it smells so good, like fresh lavender. So I just love those little details. <laughs> I said I saw it in the parking We got some butter, whey butter, on this nice little rock here. And then we have some sourdough bread. Dave, is it as good as mine at home? It's not. <laughs> Let's see. I love the presentation though. Look at that. It's interesting. <laughs> it smells good. We ordered a cheeseburger here with fries. And this is our Caesar salad. And we are still waiting for our tomahawk steak. Yep. And this is our tomahawk steak. It looks amazing. So this place is known for their... It's called Flame and Smith. And it's known for cooking on wood fire. For cooking over fire. We are so full, but that restaurant was amazing. How good was it, babe? Delicious, amazing. <laughs> we're having a nice coffee in the morning by the lavender field, and we're getting like wafts of beautiful lavender smells. As you guys can tell, the lavender isn't really in bloom yet. You can see a couple purple leaves coming, but they say in July, mid-July is the best time to see the purple lavender in its all of its glory. some lavender coming. So they left us a few cute little things for breakfast. We get a coffee. And I just love this house. It is so nice. Victorian style. It's a beautiful front porch. Keys, I'd have to like write it down. <laughs> Sterling Toronto. This is a nice piano. Oh, this is cute. Maybe this is the grandparents. Maybe this is their lavender shop. So pretty. So we just left our beautiful lavender Airbnb and we are on the way to the Drake Devonshire. We actually went there a couple of years ago. Um, I went with Lee and Nikita and it was really, really beautiful and we want to go back, me and Attic. So we're going to go see. We actually have reservations for a little bit later, but we're going to see if we can go on their patio area by the water because that's first come, first serve. So. If I vlog us sitting there, that means we got in successfully. Look at this wind burning up and that is so cute. 
cute. They're making pizzas. That is adorable, wow. This is a cute little market here. We are in Wellington, all freshly squeezed lemonade. They're selling some things. And it's so cute. We can actually see the water today because yesterday it was all foggy. here and it is half and half. It's half lemon and half orange juice. We saw this on the way. This is Mille Fleurs. I believe it is another lavender like honey type of place. It's very pretty. One is lightly oaked, one oaked. has no oak. Um, what do you think is better? And what's your favorite? I like them both. Okay. Um, originally last year, I wasn't actually a big fan of the first one, but I like it oh. now. I like okay. the way it evolved. Okay. Um, but the the oaked one has just a touch more sweetness, so some people okay. prefer that. So maybe I'll do the oaked. Okay. Thank you. I'm tasting their mead. So this is a mead wine? Yes. Is that what you guys call it? Okay. Mead, uh, also known as honey wine. Mm. That's right, so honey is the base for it rather than grapes. Awesome, it's so pretty. Can you smell it? Nice. Oh, first sip. Do you like sweeter? Mmm. I like sweeter. <laughs> okay. So I personally, I, I like anything more sweet. <laughs> it's nice, it's actually very nice. Yeah. So next, I'll pour you the um, hibiscus and rosehip one. Okay. We just released this one today. Oh wow! Really? Today? Oh, that's so pretty. It's a little more amber in color. So I was sampling it. Oh, this one smells amazing. Mm, smell it. It's so fruity. Yeah. Yeah. And then which one is this? That one is the crab apple. Oh, crab apple. Mmm. They all smell so different. How is this one? Really nice. That's a really good one. Mm. It's on the sweeter side. Yeah, is this one sweeter? Mmm. I love that. I love more sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think these two are my favorite. Yeah, even if people like sweeter, it's always nice to try the traditional so you can see what just like yes, the base of it. Just the base. It's it's honestly really good too. This one's good. It's a Alright guys, we are on the way home back to Toronto. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little vlog. We just did a little overnight trip and it was really nice to take you guys around and maybe if you're interested in visiting PEC that I gave you some ideas and some places to go. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!